After days of tense negotiations, the Senate has finally passed what is called the biggest economic stimulus package in modern American history. The $2 trillion plan delivers crucial financial relief to everything from hospitals to local governments, businesses, but most importantly, to Americans themselves. $250 billion have been set aside for direct payments of up to $1,200 per individual, making less than $99,000 a year, plus $500 for each child under the age of 17. According to most estimates, that means that about 90% of Americans will be getting some sort of cash payment. Another $250 billion have been set aside for expended unemployment benefits with the federal government giving an extra $600 to unemployed workers on top of their state benefits, a provision that delayed and almost derailed the final a vote, with some Republicans, including Lindsey Graham, arguing that the bill pays you more not to work than if you were working. In the end, Republicans and Democrats compromised to pass this historic stimulus package. But right before the vote in the Senate, the House Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, admitted that more needed to be done for the American economy. She did, however, urge everyone to appreciate this bill for what it does, not to judge it for what it does not, promising more stimulus bills to come.